Hey Zedheads, it's Andrew from Maceda Ranch. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. We'll be going over the Pity Pony Cup quarterfinals. I have three horses that qualified for the Pity Pony Cup in the Sprinter Division. And this is a tournament where 1st and 12th get a payout. So no matter where I finished, I'm happy that I got a payout. Anyways, let's get on to the video. Is managing your Zed Run stable eating away all your racing time? Focus Stable Evaluations will provide you accurate data based on your horse's past performance and give you the Zed Edge. Win big, no hassles, no confusing calculations. Let us help you. Use the promo code MESEDO at focusstables.com and we'll see you on the racetrack. Alright Zed Heads, here we go with the Penny Pony quarterfinal. I only have three horses, like I said before, that made it into uh, the quarterfinals. So we'll show you one by one. Uh, Happiness by the Kilowatt got about $5 for coming in eighth. So yeah, it's not ideal being in the top three advancing to the next tournament, but I did get a payout and we'll go on to the next race. So I came in s to the sixth sprinter, A, eh? the seventh. Let's see who I have featured there. We have Architect 2, came in 11th, not ideal, did get $5 out of it, so either being in 4th or 11th, you're still getting a payout. You really want the top 3rd spot and up to advance to the next rounds of tournaments, but if I'm going to get a little bit of money, I'll take it, I'll hodl it, and then hopefully breed a better horse, and then let that compound over time. So better horses lead into more positions, more positions lead into more money more money back into better horses and then you can develop your own strategy so right now I have a bunch of horses ready for maiden and then once those go and see how they do then the next round comes in and so on and so on so as long as I can be a profit I can get better placement in tournaments it's a loop it's a cycle let's all have fun with it and here is the last horse in the sprinter a number eight <laughs> Once again, I came in 11th, but I got a payout of $5, so I had about $16 to $17 in payouts in this tournament. Uh, yeah, it's not where I want to be, but hey, this is what uh, was given to me. I had a lot of fun. There's some strategy going into these tournaments and how to play them so you don't fatigue. I'll let you figure that out. Or if you want to share that, put it in the description below and we can have a discussion on how to play better in Zed Run. All right, so let's go to the first horse. We have Happiness by the Kilowatt. This was bred in-house. Um, I have Associated with Fire. It's a Zobogenesis Sprinter, but lately it's been behaving a lot like a mid-runner when you race it, where if you get it into like 1600 meters, it does well. But I went on to the studded market and then I found a retinal pinprick and honestly it has some really good stats that we don't see. But it could really be a left leaning if I start racing happiness by the kilowatt by a thousand and twelve hundred meters. But this is its current uh, positions. As you can see it doesn't do so well in the heat for a thousand meters. But I do get a lot of heat uh, in the 1400. And when I'm trying to downclass it, I get a little bit of heat, but not so much. Uh, this horse does fairly well in class 4. Hasn't got any heat in tournaments or open tournaments, but that will be changing soon. So we'll go over to uh, Happiness by the Kilowatt's parents. Retinal Pinprick. As you can see, it's a left-leaning uh, Genesis horse. Uh, with an 18% win rate. Um, its average odds are all over the place, but by going by heat alone, it, it, 1,000 to 1,200 and 1,400 seemed like it was a good pairing. And looking by its heat class, this horse is favored to be in one and two classes, but honestly, how the breeding matched up, it didn't do so well. Not to my expectations, but hopefully in the future we will get better horses with better breeding. Here's associated with fire. It's an A-frame um, sitting at 1400 at flame, so 
that's its target, but right now it's locked in at C1, and every time I race it, it ruins its stats even more. Even though this is a horse that can win money uh, right now, if there is a reset in the class system, then I'll be running it more often, but right now it's stuck in A-frame in class 1, and that's where I'll be leaving that. And here's the top three horses that uh, won in the Pity Point quarterfinal Sprinter A, number six. Warlock, Doggy Splendor, and Aztec Trap. So these three horses were able to win some money in this race and then go on to the next race and win some more money. So congratulations to you. Architect the second um, was one of the first horses that I got in the game. I didn't know very much how to breed, uh, what stats to look for, breeding, uh, flames, any of that. This was like maybe week two or three into the game and I bred this horse after acquiring Light Side of the Moon. And then I went into the stud farm and found a Genesis, kept it the same class, tried to go with the, the Genesis bloodline, but somewhere down the line, I didn't match up its distance preference or any of those uh, qualities that you would want from a horse. So this horse here, I ran it up to its maximum uh, class and then ran it back down and just honestly trying to compete in penny ponies because that's pretty much what this horse is going to specialize in. So we got an A-frame going on. It likes to sprint between 1,200 and 1,600 for flames. It does very well in class 5. It peaks class 4, but we'll leave it in class 5. Hopefully it does better in tournaments. Um, solo fighter, its father. It's honestly looking like if it ran more races, it would be an A-frame. Not too crazy about 1 and 2 positions, but 3 and 4. That's where it sits. But then, again, with my breeding, it's more of a mid-runner horse to marathon horse, and that's where I got wrong, where, as you can see, <coughs> as you can see, Light Side of the Moon is a horse where it is a sprinter, and I didn't do that, so... I wasn't paying attention, I was just having this euphoric uh, experience where I got Z horses, I can breed them, and not knowing how to breed, and as you can see, the performance of Architect the Second is all over the place. I'm sure if I ran it in mid-distance, I could do a bit better, but right now we'll leave it at uh, as a sprinter and go from there. And here's the final three horses for the Pity Pony Qualifying Sprinter a number seven, Blazing Pants, Frank Garthforth, and From the Grave. These top three horses were able to advance onto the tournament. No transitory. Here's another horse that was bred in house with Lone Survivor. And honestly, yeah, I have the same quote color coats as uh, Lone Survivor with uh, no transitory, but it's very crazy that. Lone Survivor does well as a marathoner, but its offspring come out as sprinters. So that's our dilemma with Lone Survivor and breeding its horses. You just got to know that you have to breed for sprint. Um, no transitory does okay for its class. It was able to get up to class four in the sprinter in the thousand and twelve hundred. That's where I like to put it. I got as far as class 3, but then, you know, you have to scale it back down to get those points for these tournaments specific. <clears throat> Just like the Pity Pony, where you want to be in 4th, 3rd, 4th, 5th, to get those sweet spot, sweet spot average points. And I think I have a decent horse for the Pity Pony. Um, I just have to breed it better, as you can see with its parents. As you can see with its parents, 40 Winks, it's a left-leaning horse. It's a very, it looks like it's a very good sprinter horse. But the statistics that I have with Lone Survivor doesn't make it to be a great horse. So that's very unfortunate that that happened. But uh, now we just know that uh, we need a strong mare and a strong uh, stallion 
and hopefully we can produce better horses to begin with. And after seeing 40 Winks breed with uh, no transitory, sorry, lone survivor and getting lone transitory, excuse me, no transitory, I could see that I need to spend more time breeding and seeing how the children actually do if the children can get above class 3. But this is 40 Winks and it's just a learning curve and hopefully the next batch of horses come out stronger. Here's Lone Survivor, a strong A-frame. Like I said before, it does well in the 12, in the marathon horses, but honestly, it produces sprinter horses. That's just how it's been. Um, lately, I've been racing in 2,600 meters, getting the flames, but I've raced this horse so much, not knowing this was one of my first horses in Zed Run, and I just played around with the horse. So if I get sprinters out of it, I get sprinters out of it, but I know where it races right now. Um, I don't think any of its stats will change drastically over time, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, hopefully Zed can change uh, the racing and put it into seasons, and hopefully Genesis like this could be better performing. But then you'll get the community angry at you again because... The poor horses did good, and the good horses have no value. So we'll see how that goes. Anyways, let's go back to the race. So here's the Pity Pony quarterfinal sprinter A8. The winners are Alter Deer, the first, Phantom Kick in second, and Dan Shaw's Centipede in third. So these three horses were able to move on into the quarterfinals and left me in the dust. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video and see what it takes to compete in Zed Run, where even in the Pity Pony, coming in first is not ideal. You want to come in fourth. But it takes a significant amount of skill. Most likely you need horses that are class 3 and above to come out, out of the quarterfinals and win a race. But anyways, thank you for your time. We'll see you in the next video and enjoy your day.